This was Mark with Aardvark Reloading. What we did was we're going to use the uh, Hornady 300 AAC Whisper. Um, it's a Hornady set, uh, Series 1, two die set, full length, item number 546349. And what it will do is it'll take a 223 or a 556 casing. And after you rough cut it down or cut the neck off, it will make a 300 blackout. This is Mark with AardvarkReloading.com. This is Mark from Aardvark Reloading. Um, today we're going to cut down 223 casings or 556 casings. We're going to uh, make some 300 blackout brass. from it and step number one is to uh, put this in either a bandsaw or uh, uh, some method I've seen jigs used for this um, is to just cut off the the uh, casing right at that shoulder. Mine's a little bit below the shoulder. So that is step number one. Step number two is to take these cutoff casings and there's a rough edge on there, especially since I do have a uh, dull blade, but there's little burrs on there. I'm going to take my uh, RCBS and I'm going to just touch the, uh, put a little bevel on the outside of the case neck. try to keep my fingers out of the way this time. Just kind of touch it and not drop the casing. Now step number three, we're going to put that uh, casing into the 300 AC, AAC Whisper uh, dies and it's interesting to know that uh, you want to cut that casing down as close to the desired case um, length that you wish to begin with because the this sizing or putting those shoulders in on this brass actually makes the brass grow in length. I thought that shoulder would actually make it shrink in length but that material when you crimp it down has to go somewhere so it actually kind of squirts up the die so to speak. So the brass will grow by uh, 10 one thousandths of an inch or it does with use, using the equipment that I have. Yes you do want to use case lube uh, for this, I use either the Hornady uh, case lube 050009 or I usually use Ballastol for most all my gun cleaning and lubrication. Where is it? Here. Okay. 
Next we want to cut these casings down to length. Um, it should be 1.369. I've seen uh, some recipes call for 1.363 all the way up to 1.369. So I'm going to cut them to the long side so I got some other brass to work with. Just going to cut them down till I don't feel any more resistance. This is a Lyman uh, case length trimmer. I don't feel anything coming off of that one. Yet this one I do. So let's go ahead and check the length on this. 1.369 so that looks pretty good 1.369 so it looks like we're uh, doing pretty good here this one must have got snuck in here it's it's real short so I I keep a I don't know how that got in there but I keep a pair of pliers handy and I always crush the case so that one can't get mixed in with my regular brass. So 1.369 is the uh, absolute longest you want to be. One of the last steps you want to take is to um, put a a, a slight bevel on the outside, a slight uh, chamfer on the inside, and this one knocks the dust off of the uh, or the brass shavings away. This last one is the primer pocket reamer, where it'll expand the pocket hole uh, primer pocket wide enough to accept a uh, primer. Just touch it. This one you want to this one you want to ream out pretty good. It's also hard to hold on to um, because my hands are uh, oily. And I'm also having to do this left-handed, which isn't exactly easy for me either. And that is some very nice, smooth neck, well cut uh, brass. This is Mark with aardvarkreloading.com.